And Lady Gaga is calling on her legion of fans to start a movement calling for new laws against bullies who target people for, quote, being different. Jamie's case is drawing worldwide attention to a problem as big as the World Wide Web. Correspondent Elaine Quijano shared Jamie's story tonight on the CBS Evening News. It hurts me so to think my son felt like he was not worthy of anything. 14-year-old Jamie Rodemeyer had been bullied relentlessly since fifth grade. His parents, Tim and Tracy, found his body on Sunday. It really just started with all the boys, because all the girls just loved him, and they always defended him. But all the boys would say, geez, you're such a girl. Why are you hanging out with all those girls? What are you, a girl? Oh, you must be gay. <laughs> the bullies now are still walking around. They get to wake up tomorrow and go to school and see all their friends, but my son will not be given a second chance, no matter how much I have prayed. I cannot turn back the clock. I would have given my own life to turn back the minute we seen him. He was harassed by online insults. He saw counselors to try to deal with the pain. Hi, this is Jamie from Buffalo, New York, and I'm just here to tell you that it does get better. In May, Jamie posted this message as part of an online support group for gay teens. Hold your head up and you'll go far because that's all you have to do. Just love yourself and you're set. But just weeks ago, he posted this online plea for help. I always say how bullied I am, but no one listens. What do I have to do so people will listen to me? They have to somehow get the power away from the bully. And I don't know how you do that. And that's the biggest question in my mind, because if the bully doesn't have power, he's nobody. For a young kid of 14 and a half, he had a big message, a huge message that shouldn't even have to be a message. It should just be common decency to not make people feel worthless and useless on this planet that they don't deserve to be with other people. Tracy Rotemeyer will bury her son in a t-shirt with a message of acceptance and defiance. It reads simply, born this way. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, Buffalo, New York.